I'm a technical support specialist with Thermoscientific Nanodrop Products. I answer support calls and emails for all our products. There's no question that is beyond them asking me and I'm happy to do it. If you, know, you get bogged down and say, well, I don't know how I'm quite supposed to do this. That's what I'm there for. You call me and I'll walk you through. For experienced Nanodrop 1000 users, the biggest difference in the software when they first open it is going to be appearance. It looks differently. However, there are some fabulous upgrades and differences. Number one, the ability to do kinetics, the ability to define custom methods, the ability to have expanded spectrum, the ability to monitor multiple, multiple wavelengths in the UV Viz application. You can define as many wavelengths as you would like. Before the 2000, people did not have the ability to store their data in their own discrete workbook unless they set up a, a user account. But now we each individual can have a workbook and it can transcend several days. The fact that the, the spectrum is expanded on both ends, way down, it goes down to um, 190 nanometers. And so peptide studies, and we have a lot of people, a lot of our, our protein people also are interested in doing peptide work. They're able to do it easily now with the Nanodrop 2000. Since we've introduced the Nanodrop 2000, I've gotten questions from customers, well, can I trade my 1000 in for a 2000? They're excited about all of the new features that are in the Nanodrop 2000. Well, now we are offering an opportunity for people to do that. There's an incentive for you to trade your Nanodrop 1000 in for a 2000, and then we'll take your 1000, refurbish it, and put it into the hands of laboratories in developing countries. It's just really exciting. It just um, helps Nanodrop pay back to the scientific community.